All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to combine three Visual Studio C-sharp projects into one large project. And uh, uh, one of the things that will make it interesting is that uh, two of the projects have the same namespace. So let me start by creating a, let me start by sharing my screen here. And uh, so, so these are the three projects that I'm going to combine. And uh, so let me start by creating a new folder here. And I'm going to call this one a final folder. And uh, I have to copy these three projects into the final folder. And the final folder is the one I'm going to zip up and hand in at the end. And so um, uh, there they are in there. And so let me uh, now create a new uh, Visual Studio project that's going to sort of be the main menu that launches these three projects. And so I'm going to create a new project. And it's got to be a um, Windows... Windows Forms app. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put that inside my final folder. And I'm gonna call it uh, main menu. And so here it is. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, incorporate those those projects into this project. I'm going to add the existing projects. So let me um, uh, click on the main solution up here. Right click, add an existing project, and go to the desktop and go to the final folder. And the first one I think I'm going to add is this uh, the last one here, the uh, XML version of the customer maintenance application and it's called customer maintenance.cs proj open that up and um, I need to um, uh, first of all let's uh, change the namespace so I'm going to open up this this is the main this is one of the .cs files here let me view the code and this is the XML version so let me click on this do a rename and I'm going to put an XML at the end of this, XML, and apply this. Okay, so that changes those. Uh, let me uh, change the name of the project up here also to XML. XML. And uh, let me uh, go into the properties of this project. And the application I'm gonna change, I'm gonna put an XML at the end of this one, and end of the assembly name, and I'm gonna put an XML at the end of the default namespace. And one thing I need to do is I need to change the output type to class library. Okay, so I've done that. And uh, so that's fine, I can close this now. Uh, close this. All right, now let me um, let me add the other two projects. I'm going to right click up here again, and I need to uh, add existing project. And this time I'm going to add the uh, this customer maintenance project. So go down to the cs dot cs proj file, and it brings brings it in. Here it is, right here. And this is a, uses a Microsoft SQL database, so I'm going to add uh, DB at the end of this. And I'm going to look at the code. And uh, for this namespace, I think I'm going to rename this and add a DB at the end of it. Uh, apply. And then I'm going to um, go into the, uh, 
properties and uh, put a DB here and a DB here. And I want to also make sure that this is um, a class library. All right. And, um, and let me also um, save all this stuff. I can close this. And let me, um, let me uh, bring in the last one here. Right click, add existing project. And this is the, this future value, which is sort of a separate thing, CS proj. And um, I don't really need to mess with the, um, with the namespace because it's something different. Uh, but what I do need to do is look at the properties and the assembly name default namespace is fine. This has to be changed to class library. Okay, um, I think that takes care of that. Uh, the next thing I have to do is I have to, um, is I have to add uh, these three projects as resources to our main project. This is our main project. Let me um, close some of this out. Uh, the main project here, and let me, um, let me right click the main project and I'm gonna add References, I'm sorry, add references. Add a reference to these three projects that I just added. Okay. All right, now let me, um, let me open up the uh, form, the main form. And here we are. And so let me add a button here to add, uh, to be able to launch these uh, Applications. So I'm going to add a button here and let me look at the properties and I'm going to uh, have this button say um, a future value and I'm going to uh, make the text a little bit bigger to 12 point and uh, I'm going to name the button, I'll name the button uh, btn future value, all right? And uh, let me uh, duplicate that a couple times. Copy, paste, copy, paste. And I'm gonna name the second one here. The text is gonna say uh, customers XML, and the name of it is gonna be BTN customers XML. And the third one here, I will name this one. The text is going to say customers DB. And the button name will be BTN customers DB. All right. Uh, now to launch these things, let me open up future value here. And this is the button for future value. And so I can, um, uh, to launch it, I can say um, future value, this is the namespace, future value um, dot, and then the form, which is just called form one, I believe. And that's gonna be a uh, form uh, equal to a new future value dot uh, form one, okay? And that should launch that. Uh, that should define a, define a form by the name of FRM, and then we need to launch that by going dialog result and some sort of button name for the okay button. That's gonna equal to form dot show dialog. All right, um, now I'm just gonna try this out and I, there will probably be an error and I'll show you what that is. Uh, okay, and the error we get is this um, form1.resx is uh, restricted. 
And this may may happen to you, or or it may not. Uh, let me um, let me save this all, and I'm going to actually close this and open it back up again. Uh, and let me but let me go into here, and I'm going to have to uh, unblock all the RSEX files. So I'm going to go into future value and future value, and here's the RESX. Right click properties unblock apply okay and come out here and go into the this customer maintenance um r e s x right click properties unblock and let me go to the last one customer maintenance r e s x Properties unblock. Is there two of them in here? Yes. Properties unblock. Are there two of them in here? No. Okay, so uh, that might work. That might do it. Let's go back in here. Go back in here and start this up again. And uh, if we click start, this time it seems to work. Let me click future value and this thing comes up. Say we invest a hundred bucks a month at 5% uh, for five years, we get this amount. Okay, so that seems to work fine. Uh, they, these other ones don't work yet. Let's get those, these other ones to work. Uh, this one, this is customers.xml. And uh, so uh, this one is gonna be a customers, customer maintenance, customer maintenance XML. This is the XML one dot, I think that was called FRM customers. What was the name of that form? Uh, just call it FRM again, equals new uh, customer maintenance dot XML dot FRM customers left, right. And uh, dialog result select button equals frm show dialog okay and uh might as well do the third one while we're at it this is customer maintenance db uh, and i think we called that one form one and i'll just call it frm again new customer maintenance db dot form one and then dialog result select button equals frm show dialog equals okay uh, now I think we're going to have one more problem with the XML because the uh, path to the XML file is, is not is not working right. Let me click on this, and we get an error here. It's because this path is not right. Um, the path has us going to here. Uh, let's let's uh, find that. It's going to be with respect to. Let's see, it's going to be, um, I want to put it in this directory right here, and that would be desktop final folder. That would be like in this directory right here. I want to put it in this directory. 
But actually where it is right now is it is in this down here. It's right here. So let me move it to here. All right. Let's see if that does it. Oh, I need to go um, dot dot backslash dot dot. Okay, so that goes up to to the directory that we're we just placed that into. Let me start this up. And here, ah, here we are. A couple of people, Joe Schmo, Joe at Hawaii.edu. Okay, great, that works. Let's delete Joe. Okay, that's fine. And then this one here, uh, we this might not work yet. Uh, let me start this back up again. Let me see. Ah, it does. Get all customers, all 696. There we are, so that looks like that works. Okay, so uh, that's how we can connect up uh, three projects. Uh, two of them ha actually had the same namespace uh, all in one. And um, so I uh, hope this helped. Uh, thanks for watching.